over the past few months I've been considering lightening up my pack so I ended up getting a smaller camera and a much smaller tripod this has really helped lighten up the pack a lot I decided to come out to this old um, abandoned house here that uh, I found on the side of the road and test out this new camera and this new tripod so I'm gonna get set up and uh, we'll see how it works out okay well here it is the Vivitar 602-110 camera. So this is a much smaller camera than the 8x10 camera I've been lugging around, but this is really going to make it a lot easier to get around and travel. Definitely lightens up my pack. Um, I think there'll be a little bit of image quality loss with the size change in the format, but I don't think it'll matter that much. Uh, definitely is helpful lightening up my pack this much. Let me show you the tripod too. So the tripod I've got is uh, this little small tripod here that I'm going to use. That's definitely lighting, lightening up the pack a lot also. Um, luckily I was able to find some 110 film. They still make it. Uh, I'll be using this uh, Orca black and white 110 film for this shot. So I'm going to get it all set up and uh, we'll shoot. I'm really looking forward to this, excited about it. So we'll get going. Okay, well I'll set up the tripod now. Like I said, it's a much lighter tripod. Really makes my life a lot easier. Well, it's going to, that's the hope. So, this camera here has a, uh, the 110 camera has a, a tripod socket on it. So we can easily mount it onto here. The beauty of this is that uh, it's just got one f-stop and one shutter speed, so I don't have to worry about metering or spot metering or anything like that anymore. It's got a nice fixed focus, so pretty much uh, exposure won't really matter as long as I point it at something that's, you know, generally illuminated by the sun. It'll turn out well. So I'm gonna load the film now. So we'll get started on that, and I'll load the film. Okay, so as I said, I'm using the Orca Lomography Orca 110 uh, black and white film. It's actually got 20, uh, it's ISO 100. It's actually got 24 exposures on it, which, um, you know, that's something I'm going to have to get used to, too. I think for here, I'm just going to, you know, probably shoot all the frames on one shot just to make it easier on myself. But, you know, loading is pretty straightforward and simple. You just place it down in there and close it up. And then advance to the first frame. Little counter on the back there. Makes it really a lot easier. So there I'm at the first frame now. I actually probably don't really need to use a tripod for this shot. Um, as I said, it only has one shutter speed, one one hundredth of a second. But I thought it would be uh, important to have a little bit of extra added security to avoid camera shake. And I think this little tripod will do a nice job with that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shot now. It's a pretty simple procedure with a 110 camera. There's really just one uh, shutter release here at the top. So I'm just going to, got it all framed up. I'm just going to go ahead and take the shot there. All right, there you go. So I will uh, take that another 23 times just to ensure I really got the shot, and then I'll head back and develop it. Well, I'm in the dark room now, and I've got all the chemicals set up, as you can see. I've decided to develop an adox adenol, which is basically rodenol. I'm going to use a 1 to 50 dilution. I think that'll really be nice on the grain. Um, as you can see, I've got these trays set up and I'm in the dark room because I don't yet have a 110 um, film developing spool for my daylight developing tanks, but I'll pick one of those up soon so I can do it uh, in the daylight. But I think that uh, having to develop in the complete darkness, which is what I'm going to have to do with this, is a small price to pay for the convenience of the lighter pack. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open up this 110 film cartridge, of course, in the dark. And then I'm going to start developing film. I have a timer set up which will beep at the end of the development cycle so I know to move it to the stop bath and fixer. Um, what I'm going to have to do is hold the film like this and sort of feed it down into each individual chemical as I develop it. But uh, once I get that finished, then uh, we'll take a look at how the film turned out.
Well, I just finished developing and drying the negatives, and I've got to say I'm really excited about them. I think they really turned out well. As you can see, um, when I uh, like when I said when I was photographing it, I took it 24 times just to really ensure that I got a good solid negative to work from. The new 110 camera that I'll be using from now on, since it only has one f-stop and shutter speed, I just really wanted to ensure that I. I really nailed the exposure on this so I really think I got it really nicely and now it's time to show you the new method that I'll be using to um, get the uh, negatives into positive form for use in the video and then also to make prints from. Well here's the new method I'll be using to convert the 110 film to digital format for use in the video and then to make prints from. It is the Panaview Panascan uh, film to digital recorder it has a light that flashes down here and a 5 megapixel image sensor up here and then it takes an SD card in the back which it then records the image onto. Uh, the 5 megapixels doesn't sound like a lot but I think it'll be great for my purposes. Easily make a 16 by 20 or a 20 by 24. I'm sure they'll be wonderful. Um, the beauty of this thing is it's small, it's inexpensive and compact. So it's going to allow me to now get rid of my big bulky 8x10 enlarger that I'll have no use for after this. I called some scrappers and they're going to come out and uh, they're willing to come out and pick it up and scrap it for whatever we can get for it uh, for the metal recycling. Which is I think all it really has uh, value in anymore. So I'll show you how this works. Basically you open this up and then there is a uh, win display window here which will display the image that we're about to convert it comes with a film holder which is designed for 35 millimeter but i was able to put the 110 film into that so you just simply turn it on here and then you get your image display and at the bottom you place the film into it and then you can see it in the display window you just line it up on the negative that you want to convert Right now I've got it set up to be a uh, negative form which I'll then uh, convert in the computer into positive form and show you in the video. The beauty of this also, this whole setup with the 110 camera and everything like that, is it's going to allow me now to get rid of my 8x10 camera. I don't really see any value in the 8x10 camera. I thought about selling it, but maybe I'll make a, a, a lamp out of it or something like that. So basically to... Um, record it onto the uh, sensor and then onto the SD card you just hit this button here there'll be a flash of light and then once you see that it's recorded it onto the SD card and now I'll uh, convert it in, in the computer and then show you in the video I really think that turned out well, even better than I had expected. So I'm excited to continue to use the 110 camera, and until then, keep on shooting!